guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade. Today we get into the arcade time capsule, which I'm now going to call ATC. It's much easier going forward. And we're going to start playing these games, guys. And today we're going to start with three absolute classics that I grew up with. And what I want to do is actually have a bit of a Spacey's challenge with you guys. So if you want to put your scores up, you can. Link is in the description below to the Spacey's leaderboard. And when you get in the leaderboard, you can just go up to tags here, guys, and you can just turn off these other ones. You've got all the ATC games now. You can put scores up on any of these games, or we could do just the challenge and take off ATC. This is ATC challenge, and you can see we've got Galago, Galaxian, and Gaplus, guys. So you can just click on here, put your name, put your score in. Got to take a photo, guys. It comes through. I'll approve it and you'll see your score up on the leaderboard. So let's get into the arcade and look at our first game today, which is going to be uh, Galaxian. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the arcade and much like it was back in the day, it was absolutely glorious to come in and see what machines were in the lineup. Is there anything new? And of course, we've got a lot of newer machines than the original ones that were around when we first started. Um, but that's where I want to start this challenge series. We've got the uh, Spacey's Arcade video up there. We want to start, guys, with Galaxia. Now, I would love to start with Space Invaders, but of course, we don't have Spaceys in here yet. That would be the, the ideal cab to start with, and a few other Bronze Era games around that time, like Canyon Bomber. <laughs> I'd love to play those games at some point. But look at this Galaxian that we're going to get into here, guys. And when we do these little challenges, I do want to take a moment to stop and admire the cabinets that we have, because this is just like standing in front of a real Galaxian cabinet. I'll reach in here, get it started, boot sequence, and you know from playing Space Invaders originally when Galaxian came out I was in awe over these coloured Starfield and I remember you know sitting at a cocktail machine and just looking at the attract sequence and just spitting out over these beautiful starry backgrounds, which of course today, guys, is very, very primitive. But yeah, this um, was an amazing upgrade to Space Invaders. So guys, we're going to get into the uh, into the gameplay here, and I'm going to put you into a Spacey's um, stable cam. <laughs> So you can watch the game without me rummaging my head around all over the place. So let me set that up and then let's get playing Galaxian. Okay guys, let's play. Get a credit in. And boy. Sound of this game brings back memories. And of course all the upgrade from the thump 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 of Space Invaders and Mr. Flagship there. But it got the heart pumping. And Galaxian is a deceptively difficult game. It sort of seems easy. You sort of have to play it a few times to just get used to the way that aliens move. Because they can catch you out by jumping at you. And of course, back in the day, it it really did get you because you weren't used to the invaders coming down the screen for a start. <laughs> so that was something new. Should have got the other guy first to get the bigger bonus there. And it's a sort of a slow firing game too, which also sort of catches you out. flagship disappears if you don't pick it up. 
and it's and even the ship is actually really quite slow moving too and you sort of think you can get yourself out of trouble but you can't <laughs> so you get stuck yeah guys what have we got at the high score at the moment 12,250 I'm going to get caught in the corner here if I'm not careful um, and it doesn't sound look like a huge score but it's just hard getting big scores in this game but we'll see how we go and whatever score I get I will be putting it up on the Spacey's leaderboard and you'll see it under my name in terms of Spacey's there are some other scores up there already from previous comps that we've done and you'll see my initials SPC but when you see Spacey's you know that uh, you'll see my best RK time capsule score and uh, really hoping to get through all the games guys <laughs> gonna do three on each Spacey's challenge and we're just gonna go through them all and just enjoy oh, the way they move down at you that's crazy Sometimes you have to sort of be brave when they come down low at you and actually just try and jump in their path and actually kill them before they can drop some crazy bombs on you. Oh wow, I could sort of see that happening too. I've got 7,000. Yeah, this is so deceptively difficult. It really is, even after all these years. They made a lot of money back then. And people were sort of getting pretty good at Space Invaders by then, and games were just taking too long, guys. They had to do something about it. And that's where Flaxian was born. So nice to hear the attract sequence of other games in the background. Enjoy being in the arcade. Oh damn guys, you see that? It's just brutal. That is brutal. Well there you go. I didn't even get to the 12,250, so you'll see my score up as 8,700 8, guys. See if you can beat it. I think we'll leave it there for Galaxian. Let's now head over to Galaga or Galaga, depending on how you say it. Let's go take a look. Alrighty guys, let's pan around the arcade here and uh, we can see Galaga beautifully poised on its own. It's a stunning looking cabinet and again the detail on this is just incredible guys. Look, even up the top where the paint is it's like it's peeling away. Just like a, it's like a real cabinet. It's just crazy. Little details. Dirt on the on the control panel. It, it, it just looks real, guys. It looks real now. Galaga, Galaga. Um, this was incredible when this came out. Of course, we've got the star field still going here, guys. And uh, there was a carry on from Galaxian, but now with all the different ships and the challenging stages and just the music and sounds, it's just, it was such a step up. And this became one of my favorite games. And you can see I've got a high score up there at the moment of 222,000. Uh, it's not my highest high. Highest high was 300 and something. If you see one of my shorts video, you'll see, uh, uh, a little bit of the ending of when I got that score and I got this score the other night and I was doing some testing uh, and it was, a, it was a pretty good score like I don't normally sort of just get up into the 200 so I was pretty pleased with that let's see what we can do this time around guys not promising to get up there but uh, look whatever I get on this video recording I will put up so I won't put the 222 up there I'll put what you see me do <laughs> 
Alright guys, so let's uh, get the spacey VR steady cam going. Let's play some Galaga. Alrighty guys, let's coin up. Let's get this game started. Let's leave those guys come out so we can try and get the old tractor beam to come down and pick us up. Getting two ships is the key. <clears throat> Pretty hard going with just the one. These earlier stages aren't so bad though. There we go, we've got a, a suitor. Get ourselves picked up early. And of course we don't want to shoot our own ship guys, which was always a disaster. <laughs> First time that happened back in the day, I was like, what? Even getting the two ships though, of course, you know, coming from Galaxian and coming to this. I mean, all of this was just so radical. Yeah, challenging stage. First challenging stage, pretty much to stay in the middle. There we go. Get our first extra man. Get the 10,000 bonus. And onwards we go, guys. Relatively calm at the start, but it gets furious <laughs> at later levels. Okay, that was a pretty, pretty bad early mistake. And I shot my guy. Hmm. I have to do better than that. Once we're a little way away from the uh, next challenge stage. I do need to pick up another another ship. Important to uh, to get those little bonus ships when they split out in, into three, um, because the other two will disappear off the screen if you don't get them on the first way down. I was actually a little bit janky getting that. I'll take it though. Alrighty. Warm up a little bit. Oh gosh, I'm making it hard for myself. Absolutely. Should be getting these uh, earlier challenging stages, but nonetheless, this is what it was like, guys. When you went in and you had like one, one coin, one quarter, one 20p piece or one 20 cent coin for you New Zealanders, Australians, and you had to make the best of your game. There's no stopping the game, resetting it, starting again if you didn't have any more money. Oops, oh, I should have waited for them to come down and get more. Um, and you know, but that was that was the beauty of the arcade, right? How could you make your credit last?
in our stage 10, they don't fire at you. Give you a nice little breather. I should leave one of these so I get the bonus guys. Oh, but I couldn't, couldn't shoot them all, so... Alright, challenging the stage. Oh, this one, which I don't like. one again. Okay. Doing it the hard way. Pizza power going off in the background. Thanks half deck. <laughs> that a track sound. Ah, it's all good. All good. Gotta have some pizza power. For those guys, that's a nice little uh, bonus. Alrighty. Getting quiet, guys, you can tell. Starting to heat up a little bit. No. No. And this is where it gets really difficult. Because when you're down to one man, and they start coming down really fast, and there's no way to get picked back up, you literally can just lose all your ships. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> and we were challenging stage with one man, guys. Just missed that one. Come on! <laughs> wow. Uh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Only one man left too, so I gotta be real careful here. Still got uh, extra man. I think at one seventy. I think it is. Oh boy. Damn. Damn. It could have got picked up there as well. Oh uh, well. I got an extra man. <laughs> I got an extra man, guys. I was 140. Still not helping me though if I don't get a double ship. I need someone to come pick me up. The beam is a lot faster too at these later levels, so you don't get a lot of chance to get in there. Still got to get my man down though. There's quite a few players out here. got a man in front of him too. He's coming down fast. This is 
is where you can shoot your own man by accident. You do the little twirl in the air. What? Oh, it's the worst way to die, guys. It's the worst way. You leave your poor man up there. That's a tragedy. <laughs> that is a tragedy. Oh well. I put the name up. 144, guys, is the uh, score for you to beat. And of course, I'm going to want to come back here at some point and do another playthrough on this. But we have so many other games, of course, we would need to look at across the arcade. But yeah, 222 and 144. <laughs> Thousand exactly. Wow, okay, it's, it's still awesome fun, guys. It just really is. It's an incredible game. Um, let me know if it's one of your favourites as well in the comments below. Any of you guys that grew up in the, in the, well, born in the 70s and hit the arcades in the 80s, I'm, uh, I'm sure you'll love it just as much as me. All right, let's move on and go have a look at the Gap Plus. All righty. Away from Galaga now. Head around this arcade. Let's have another look at these beautiful machines. And there we go, the lonely cabinet down here between the restrooms, I think. And this is the Gap Plus. Now, the interesting thing about this game, guys, is when I played it, I don't think I ever played it in its original cabinet. So it's so cool to see the original cabinet and the original artwork. Uh, it certainly looks pretty striking and of course this was a sequel to Galaga and when we when it first came out we were pretty excited about it but it was a bit of a strange game and never really caught hold it was quite difficult um, but it's got some nice unique aspects to it and over the years guys I've actually grown to really really enjoy it and really like it but uh, yeah back in the day it was a difficult one to do and I think because, you know, get a long time on Galaga with one 20 cent piece back in New Zealand, I uh, prefer to play the original Galaga. But yeah, let's get into it and see what they've done. A few funky things in Gaplus. Again, the cabinet's so beautiful. Let's get into the Spacey's VR Steadicam, guys, and have a game. Right here, guys, let's coin up. Get into some Gaplus. We got some cool music straight away, and the weird thing, of course, you can go up the screen a little, which was a bit of a wow factor when you first played it. The movement of these enemies is pretty crazy, and how they sort of come out in the middle. And we need to get this guy. And then we can pick these up as they come down. They normally stay up there, the buggers. And they can't move up while you're in this mode. <clears throat> and then you have all their ships. And, you know, you can get a whole a whole row. I mean, not a whole bottom row, but I don't know, like up to five or six. I think it's possible. Oh, wow. Collided with him. And yeah, it just, it just was difficult guys, it still is difficult. Um, it just made the 20 cent didn't last very long. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay, well we're definitely going to have another game because that was pretty average. And we can be better than that. So let's try again, guys. But you get a little bit of a taste of what this game's about. And again, really be interested to know what you thought of Gap Plus. Was it anyone's anyone's favourite? As I said, I have learned to like it 
ever since emulation started. And I could really have some goes without losing all my money. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. There we go. There we go. Gives us some good firepower. This is a crazy thing. I mean, you get some awesome firepower. And you think, well, you should be able to just blitz everything. But the way they come out, not always that easy. And I lost a couple already. Oh no. In a challenging stage, and I've only got two two guys, which makes this a lot harder, and you'll see why in a minute. So jeez, oh, I think it's gonna be really hard. When you've got a lot of these ships, it's much easier to do this. But I do like those, I'm missing that. Oh no, I missed them completely. So we didn't get the bonus guys either. Because I didn't have all those extra ships, otherwise it does make that a lot easier. Damn. Now the screen goes backwards and ships go crazy, crazier. <laughs> this is this is where you usually, you know, come a cropper. Just the way they move is. He just took off that one. Wow, just moved straight into that. <laughs> oh, whoa, I was lucky to escape that one. You know, and perhaps, so perhaps if you sort of get used to some of the patterns it might become easier it's sort of like i think if you've got galaga brain it, it, these don't move like the galaga ships pick up an extra man and then just lost one so yeah i don't know guys this might be another game i want to come come back to and really you know really try and get good at because i think it'll be a lot of fun when you do because there's actually a lot more to this game as you go through, so. All right, guys, well, that is the third machine. Let's look back in the arcade. And there we go. Gaplas, posing all on its own there. But we have all of these games to explore in the Spaces Challenge. Remember to get your high scores up on the leaderboard. You can use the QR codes as well to get straight to the games. And uh, feel free to get on the leaderboards for any of the other ATC games. Remember to use the filter on the leaderboards. You'll see them all. And when I get to those games, you'll see your name up at the start of the video, guys. So get in there, start playing, get your scores in. And also let me know which game you want me to get on to next in the series of three i'll take requests but i do have some that i do want to stick together because they're sort of related so but please do let me know we're going to stick around at the pasadena level play all these games and then we're going to level up and we'll get into some of the newer games and really have some fun guys there you go, that's the end of the first Spaces Challenge, guys. Look forward to seeing all your scores and looking forward to getting back into the arcade playing some more games is what it's all about. Playing the games and enjoying the beautiful art and environment. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Till then, ciao for now.